Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. So I've been going down the rabbit hole with trying to de-Google my life as much as humanly possible and put control back in my hands of it. And I've been doing this slowly but surely. You know, it's impossible to just get away from it in one day, but I've been removing a little bit with each passing day. And part of that was installing an alternative operating system on my Android phone. And in this case, I installed Calyx OS, which is pretty much a de-Googled Android. They use things like MicroG instead of Google Play services since Google Play Services is constantly spying on you. And there's a bunch of little modifications that are really nice. And it, I think it walks a nice balance between being a device that is usable by your average end user. You can use banking apps and so on and so forth. But simultaneously, keep Google from watching everything that you do. And by the way, for people who are interested in de-Googling themselves from media, you're welcome to watch either my live channel or my main channel over on Odyssey. I'm going to try to be more active in the comments there than I am here. Now, one of the problems is that there's a certain limitations with some of these operating systems and what devices they're on. I actually paid for this personally prior to Futo giving Calyx a legendary grant, which is where we give five, six, and sometimes seven figures to people who've been doing great work in giving privacy, freedom, and control back to the end user of their technology. I actually paid for this because I wanted to support them because I believe in what they're doing. And you get a Pixel 4a 5G. Now, the problem with this device, as with many modern smartphones that I've been talking about, is that they're often missing key features. Micro SD card slots, headphone jacks. The newer Pixels are missing headphone jacks, which to me is completely unacceptable because I like to have my little plug-in microphone. But this phone has a headphone jack. It's just missing a micro SD card slot. So I thought I'd show you something that I thought was pretty cool and almost too good to be true from this site called iBlades. I think there's probably a 50-50 chance that this site is a scam, and I'll explain why soon. But it, I really am hoping it's not a scam. And this is, admittedly, this is probably wishful thinking on my part, but check this out. So this is a case to protect the phone. Looks like a normal case, right? Well, it has USB-C that plugs in the bottom. Now, it's not a wireless charging case because wireless charging cases, wireless charging, you lose out on about 30% efficiency because there's loss in the inductive charging process. So what this looks like is you get an extended battery that it looks like attaches with magnets over here. So it looks like this, 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 and that are a magnet and it'll attach and over here, it looks like these are contacts, electrical contacts, so it's wired charging, but it can snap on and snap off, and you can get as many of these little external batteries as you want and just stack them. But further, because it attaches via USB-C, the cool part here is that you can attach new peripherals to your device like a micro SD card slot. So you can actually return a micro SD card slot to a phone where they've taken it away from you. And because you don't get user removable batteries anymore, you now have a user removable battery because you can, again, you can get as many of these as you want and it looks like you can just stack them as much as you want from what I read on the webpage, which I think is cool. So it says smart blades are stackable for overnight charging of the entire stack and foam with one cable. Um, it looks like you can buy additional accessories to it. So I got the the case with one battery thing and uh, 16 gigabyte. I, I personally don't give a fuck about the 16 gigabytes or the 128 gigabytes. That's trash. What I care about is the micro SD card slot so I can take the one terabyte of data from my old phone and plug it into this one. Now, when I, I say I think this may be a scam, it sounds too good to be true. I bought this thing over a week ago. I got the PayPal confirmation email that they got the money. I never got an order email from them. I checked my spam folder and my junk. It's not there. I have emailed these people about four times, uh, Thursday, Friday, Monday, I think Saturday, saying like, you know, do you have an order confirmation, a tracking number, anything? Because again, this does sound like it's, this, this does sound too good to be true. And I have yet to hear back. And I'm, I honestly usually would have already filed a PayPal claim or a chargeback because this, again, sounds like it's too good to be true, which means there's a good chance to scam. On my website, store.rossmangroup.com, if you contact us about an issue with your order, if it's a business day, you'll get a response the same day. The idea of emailing us on a Tuesday or Wednesday and not hearing back Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That's just not something that we do. And I just can't stand companies that do that. But I'm, I'm, I really do hope this is not a scam. Again, like it's been a week and I haven't heard anything uh, from any of my emails. So I'm pretty sure at this point it is a scam, but like a part of me just doesn't want to admit it because it's, this is too cool. What would be really cool is if companies like this find ways to add back more shit, like the headphone jack. Like imagine if you could actually buy a Pixel 6 Pro and have a headphone jack added to it through USB-C, but also have the charge port. Because again, a lot of these dongles, you want they're just not, I don't want to have wires hanging out of my phone and shit like that. It would be really cool to be able to have a case where 
I have a headphone jack on the bottom, a USB-C port on the bottom, a micro SD card slot on the bottom, and the ability to add external batteries for when my battery dies, but have it as a choice so that it's not making it thicker. Because again, the cool thing about this is this doesn't make the phone much thicker. It's just a normal case. You don't have to have the battery on it all the time if you don't want. But if you want the batteries, you can keep those batteries in your backpack or in your bag or in your car or in, your, you know, in the pocket on your bike and then attach it to your phone when your phone dies. So your phone only has to be thick when you want it to be thick and have those batteries. So this is a really cool concept. And I hope more companies start copying this concept. And I hope people pick up on this type of functionality because it really does have the potential to add something back to a phone that you... Um, that, that you used to get that you don't anymore. And if I actually get this, if this is not a scam, I will happily go over it and review it. But at this point, I'm about 75% certain it is. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something.